Good afternoon, everybody. I am Manu Kumar, paid by second year MBS at Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, First Institute. We are presenting my further uh, advice team of academic stress and impact on students' mental health. Well, the human mind is uh, key order of stress reactivity. Um, to start up with, stress is defined as a transactional process arising from real or perceived environmental demands that can be appraised as threatening or benign, depending on the availability of adaptive coping resources to an individual. Um, human mind is um, like a mini computer, um, which is a key organ of stress reactivity. How it occurs with stress reactivity is that it, it increases the pro inflammatory cytokines level like interleukin 6 and thereby um, it mitigates the inflammation and immune processes. And that is a link between stress mental processes evident within the social environment and embodied with the brain through its neural cycles, thereby it maintains its homeostasis. By the patterns of communication. It is primarily maintained by its neural circuit. The instrumental test includes hippocampus, amygdala, prefrontal cortex, and then from the cortex it proceeds to thalamus and then to amygdala, olfactory bulb, hypothalamus, and it senses its neural circuit. To govern its related physiological and behavioral stress processes, its adaptive of short term and maladaptive long term. Stress processes arise from directional patterns of communication between the brain and the autonomic, cardiovascular and immune systems via neural and endocrine metabolism. It receives inputs through um, various um, um, events and it has progress. Next. Brain, process, brain processes both external sensory inputs and internal inputs from the body and just paralyzing, processing, and enables the brain, thus maintaining the other shadow growth. Um, this, it is maintained by the biological systems that promote adaptation, including the hypothyroid pituitary axis, AMS, metabolic system, gut, kidneys, and immune systems through the complex of cells and nerve processes. The, this is mediated by biomediators like cortisol, various transmitters like acetylcholine, glycine, cytokines, metabolic hormones, etc. thereby maintaining a dynamic network. Next. Activities of these systems and vehicles are influenced by genetic makeup, developmental history, current behavior and psychological stresses. Adjustments of the biological systems enable protection and adaptation of the individual to particular challenges and process for other stresses. It is merely just homeostasis as you all know what is it. Allosiasis is essential for maintaining homeostasis, as I said, in the face of demands that are by the brain. Critically, however, allodynamic adaptation has a price, and the cause of adaptation is called allostatic load. That is, how much the brain strains and stresses so that to exert its action, like the wear and tear on the body and the brain. This is to the exposure of the brain to the environment and the people around. Um, the, you see here, the major life events include environmental stresses and trauma. This environmental stress may include this in work or home, neighborhood, surroundings, office, and you know. This perceived stress leads to behavior responses, increasing fight and fight response, personal behavior like diet, smoking, something. Smoking is the only choice for like a person who is this time leading to psychological responses in the body and that are the responses and this continues and this shows the mild uh, psychosis thus disturbing other subject mode coming back to understanding systems it promotes adaptation to stressful experiences a generally more useful than rapidly terminated when prolonged other study systems undermine mental and physical health due to brain toxicity that is is this the one you want? No. no. The one earlier. No. Yes. When prolonged, the other study systems undergo the effect of physical health through its basic essence. Because it's not a, just like a machine. 
um, and an important aspect of metastasis is our metastatic results for anticipation. As an anticipation is the psychological stress such as apprehension, worry, anxiety, etc. Because it damages the amygdala and the gray matter is the man which does all these works. Inside the brain is a complex process of neuronal circuits and it works in a dynamic coordination that I means it demands imposed by particular stresses. Important aspects of inducive responses to stress in relation to allostasis and its low are health damaging and health promoting behaviors such as eating, diet, smoking, drinking, etc. Stressing experiences can foster a proliferation of recursive neural physiological behavior and thus increase the vulnerability to health and premature deaths. And there comes a mechanism. Um, it is cause of um, default of neurogenesis where there is a plastic rewarding of hippocampal circuitry like shorting of tendons, loss of spinal paralysis, um, decrease in neurotransmitter or like glucocorticoid deficiency or anxiety of acid transmitters like acetylcholine etc. Coming to the contribution to our side, what to teach the students? The most common, uh, what is common in uh, our society is junk food. But it accelerates such a and it focuses you to time to time these matters, which a uh, younger community is not aware to, aware of. And, and smoking accelerates other general resources. And exercise and restorative sleep are most cognitive functioning and things. Um, there are three portions of other dynamic and physiological responses contributing to um, and this is anesthetic load like repeated hits, lack of adaptation, prolonged response and immediate response and yeah. reactive yeah. response. Next. Um, coming to the meeting in September 11 upon the World Trade Center, it's strange that stress is even predatory. It happens exactly better than even. Um, after three years on the uh, on a survey, it was found out that uh, the people in that area showed a reduction in the volume of hippo hippocampus as well as the anatomical circuits. Um, there is a hidden available component of stress related plasticity in the hippocampus and the peripherals provide them the cytokine surface and plausible mediators as they cut the blood brain barrier and affect the vagus nerve and the transmits. Central inflammation may adversely affect learning and memory through a process related to neurodegeneration, as I said, early cell neurogenesis effect and structure remodeling of hippocampus and amygdala. There is a peripheral association between peripheral levels of fetal index 6, uh, marker of inflammation, and memory. So, as if there is any stress or trauma, um, automatically this memory level will go down. And my cognitive impairment in aging is even associated with hippocampal volume reduction and thereby industrial use it elevates the capacity of hippocampal levels. The adult and the developing brain shows structural as well as neurochemical plasticity and resilience with all experiences, including those which are stressful. Plasticity or loss of resilience is a key feature of stress adaptation. Um, due to continued exposure to such stresses um, of the brain. Stress processes impacting health can be presumably labeled as good, tolerable and toxic, level depending on the degree to which an individual has control over given stressor and support systems. Life stresses can presage ill health among vulnerable individuals. Stress related to vulnerability is determined by genetic behavior and environmental factors that impact over the lifespan, can influence the characteristics and mix the level of and etc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very exciting and very colorful presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, medical and the psychological aspect.